Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. Today we will be talking about heaven. That is the current topic that we will be discussing in this video. One thing that people should know, there is a literal place that is being prepared for believers. Those that believe in Jesus Christ and call him Savior, you have a home that is not on earth. We're going to go ahead and read John 14.2 for this exact instance. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you so. I go to prepare a place for you. So God is preparing a place for us, those that call him Savior. Also, one important thing to know is that while we are here on earth, we should be focused on God's kingdom. We're going to read Colossians 3, uh, verse 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. So the things of the earth will pass away. But when we're with God, those things are eternal. So we should be focused on our life after here and do our best to live for God now. So a lot of people have questions about heaven. What will it be like up there? What will we be doing? So I'm going to read some verses out of Revelation that gives descriptions of the people that are there and what heaven may look like. First, we're going to be re reading Revelations, uh, Revelation 7, 9 through 10. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindred and people and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with bright robes, and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. So here it describes that people of different creeds, nations, and tongues. So everyone, there's going to be different people from all over the world, different races, different colors, different languages. They're all going to be in heaven. Now, not everybody makes it to heaven, but a multitude of these people will be there. And now a brief description of what heaven will look like. Revelation 21, verse 21. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, and every several gate was of one pearl. And the streets of the city were pure as gold, as it were transparent glass. So there's going to be a gate made of pearl. It's going to be beautiful in sight. And all the roads are going to be paved in gold. So it's going to basically be this magnificent, magnificent beauty to behold when we're there. And then we're going to read uh, Revelation 22, verse 4 through 5. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no, no night, there, there no need candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. So, this verse here is showing that we're going to be in the presence of God. Now, that alone is magnificent and wonderful. The fact that our living Savior, we're going to be standing right in front of him and be able to fellowship with him. That, that in itself, to me, is enough to want to seek out heaven. And then it says that there's no need for night. That literally we don't need earthly light like candles or anything like that because God's love is so bright that he is our light when we're there. Just thinking about that is amazing. Now, if we speak about heaven, we already have 
done a topic about hell before. That is a literal place. It's the complete opposite of heaven. There's nothing but darkness in there. Nothing but pain and suffering. So we should be seeking heaven and follow Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. If you have not done that, you need to do that today so that your place can be set for paradise. So if you have any questions on how to become a Christian and how to accept Christ in your heart, please reach out to our ministry. We want to be here for all of you because we want to see you in heaven. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. We will be back again on Friday for Fact Friday.